Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new collaborations that Pixie released with four of our favorite beauty content creators here on YouTube. And I have the entire collection and I used 90% of the products in today's look. So if you guys are interested in seeing swatches, seeing how I apply the products, and a little bit of my thoughts and reviews on the products, then please keep on watching. So the first collaboration I want to talk to you guys about is with Miriam and she came out with two palettes two which are basically face powders so this one is to bronze and glow and this one is to highlight and contour and I used both of them in today's look I did start with the highlight and contour one and I used the lightest shade in the palette and mix a little bit of the darker ones to contour and sculpt my cheeks and then I did use a little bit of both of these highlighters to highlight my cheekbone and then also a little bit actually of these two to bronze up a little bit more and in my opinion I think both of the palettes are good but if I had to choose I would say the glow and bronze palette it's my favorite I just feel like I like the color selection more on this one you have three highlight shades that have different undertones so it can work for different skin tones and then for the three bronzers you have two matte shades and then one that has a little bit of shimmer so you have a lighter shade and then you have a little bit of a deeper tone and as far as the formulation it is very buttery they're extremely pigmented even applying the bronzer I was a little scared because because applying it it was really deep and pigmented but luckily the color did dilute a little bit as I kept blending it out so I definitely recommend trying out this palette and then for the highlight and contour one I just really wasn't a huge fan of the entire palette itself but a couple of these shades are very very pretty for example this one right here is the one that I used on my under eyes to highlight and brighten but it just looks way too yellow under my eyes the powder just kind of sat there and did didn't really do much for me and this color is just not something that worked out for me and as far as the contour shades I feel like it can work with a lot of different skin tones only because they're not way too warm or way too orange and they're pretty neutral and then these two right here are very pretty highlight shades so you can definitely use that to highlight your cheekbone the bridge of your nose your cupid's bow and then this one right here is another one that I'm not a really huge fan of only because it does have way too much silver shimmer in it and that's not something I ever see myself using. So these two top shades aren't really shades that I see myself reaching for at all and uh, I just think they really didn't work out for me. But if you look at this palette and do see yourself using this then I highly recommend purchasing it only because the formula on these are very very nice and they're also affordable so it's almost like a win-win and then this is the brush that's also part of her collection and this is the double-sided strobe and sculpt brush and I really do like this brush because it's dense enough for it to carve out your cheeks in a sense or on the other side where you can pack on your under eye highlight powder but it's not super stiff so it's really nice and soft and it's movable and it's it's just so so nice I really think it's perfect to carve out your cheeks maybe bronze your entire face which is what I actually did and then like I mentioned applying your concealer maybe or just your under eye highlight powder so I really do recommend this brush so now the next collection is the one with Judy from it's Judy's time and she came out with two palettes this one right here is an eyeshadow palette with neutrals and warms and just pretty much your everyday day to night eyeshadow palette which are really nice and this is probably my top favorite product from all the collabs and then this one right here is her lip palette so for today's eye look I did use a couple of the shades in this palette and I started off by using the shade good morning and using that as my main transition color and then from there I moved on to brick and applied that basically all over my lid and blended that out nicely with my transition shade and then taking the shade in getaway I basically just applied that all over my lid and this is what my eye makeup looks now so the reason why I love this palette is because this is basically your everyday palette like if I look at these shades I can honestly find these shades in other palettes that I have but all in one so this to me is going to be my perfect travel palette because you can create 
day looks and night looks using the darker shades here at the bottom. And I just love how these eyeshadows blend. They are very pigmented and I love them. I just really love this palette so, so much. And then for this palette, I did use two shades to create today's lip combo. I took a little bit of the shade in Peaches and a little bit of the shade in Kira Bear. And I loved how my lips turned out. So you can use the colors as is in the palette or you can always mix and match and create your own custom colors. So that's one reason why I do enjoy lip palettes because you can always make it your own. Now, I did find that you do have to apply a couple of layers in order to get the full color payoff of each lipstick. But in a way, I do really like that because let's say, for example, I decide to wear very minimal makeup and I want to go reach on my palette and pick maybe this shade but not that intense and just apply a quick sheen to my lips then this is definitely something that you can always reach for so I do love this palette just as much maybe as the eyeshadow one and before I forget I do want to mention that with these palettes on both of them they do come with a little mirror so you can apply it to the back of your palette and it just adds more of a personal palette that you can throw in your purse travel with it and have a quick mirror on the back so I also think this was really really genius now the next collection is with Aspen and she came out with three glow products, two of them which are highlighters and one of them is a blush. And then she also came out with this brow tamer and this lower lash mascara. So for today I did use the glow blush and I've honestly mentioned this multiple times, I don't go for glowy blushes like at all. But for the purpose of trying it out and reviewing it for you guys, I did decide to apply a little bit on my cheeks. And then I also took a little bit of this highlighter right here. Applying a little bit of that on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. So both of the highlighters are really nice and one of the things I really like about them is that you can honestly use the highlighters to wear that super full glam shimmery sun kissed glow. Or you can also apply it very lightly on a fan brush and give you a very natural, healthy, glowy skin. So you can use it for both purposes and I really like them. I love the shades. The blush, I am not really into shimmer blushes, but this is what it looks like. So I think it's honestly not that bad. I think I'm just overall very anti-shimmer blushes, but... It's kind of grown on me to be honest and I really like how my skin looks today. Now here I'm trying out the new brow tamer and I personally think that brow gels can either be a huge hit or a huge miss. I feel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one is a perfect formula, perfect consistency. And I also have tried other ones that are way too watery and don't do anything for me. Or in the case of the Benefit one, that one I feel like is a nice consistency but I feel like it just makes my eyebrows flaky and I don't like that at all and with this one I feel like it's not super watery but it's kind of in between of the super watery stage and the perfect stage I feel like if the formula was just a little bit thicker then it'd be perfect but this is my first time trying it out so I do want to see how it keeps my brows in place if it keeps them there all day if it flakes just because flaking is kind of embarrassing like it's not your brow or your skin that's flaky it's just the product that you're using on them but as far as the formula right now I do think it's kind of nice and now this little guy right here is just perfection it's the new lower lash mascara and I love it when I do my bottom mascara I feel like I always struggle with clumpiness and nobody likes that like it's also a pain in the butt having to brush them after you apply the mascara so this little guy is just perfection to me the wand is so tiny that you can literally get into every little strand of hair on your lower lash and fully coat it. It's just a beautiful little wand and it doesn't say anywhere that it's waterproof so I'm just assuming it's your average typical formula for a mascara but I really like it and I highly highly recommend it. And now the very last collaboration is with Caroline and she's basically your expert of skincare and she came out with this two-in-one double cleanse. One side is a solid cleansing oil and the second one is a cleansing cream. So I did try this last night and the first word that comes to mind when using this is convenient. So the fact that there is two-in-one product saves space and uh, 
saves you kind of time in a way because you have your cleansing oil on one side, you quickly use that, and then you have your cleansing cream, and then you're done. Like, this is this is so, so smart. And I know a couple people were a little concerned that maybe the product on one side may bleed to the other side, but don't you worry because Pixie thought about it all. And if you look here at the top, you can see that there is an indented split right down the middle and it just sits nice and snugged into the product. So technically there is no way for product to get from one side to another. So this is also a product I highly recommend getting if you guys are in the market for a new cleanser and just want to try out products from the new collection. All right guys, so those are all the products from the collection and my top three products will have to be number one, the eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Judy. Second would be the Tiny Lower Lash Mascara in collaboration with Aspen. And then the last one would be the 2-in-1 Double Cleanse by Caroline. So if you guys are looking into trying out any of the products in the collection, then those three are definitely my top products. So I highly recommend them to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh -oh, wanna know